Hi Matthew's Superstars, it's Mrs. R and today we're going to read a book called The Little Butterfly That Could. You might have read a book called The Little Engine That Could, but this is about a butterfly and the little bubble up here says, what if I can't? It's by Ross Brosh and I picked this book out because a lot of you are doing testing in the next few weeks. And I just want you to have a reminder that, you know what? You can do it, superstars. We got this. Shall we find out what the book is about? On the inside, it says, the little butterfly that could. And then in the little speech bubble, it says, where are the flowers? And he's like biting his fingernails and looking all filled with anxiety, which is another word for worry. So, here we go. Hey, have you seen a group of migrating butterflies? They went that way. Did you guys see the whale? Woo-hoo, says the butterfly. I am so close. Yeah, says the whale. Only 200 miles. And the butterfly's eyes like pop open. He's like, 200 miles? Two hundred miles is a long way away. How am I supposed to travel that far? You fly. Can I take a plane? No. A hot air balloon? No. A blimp? No. Then I'll never make it, says the butterfly clinging to the whale. Life was so much simpler as a caterpillar. There's a little picture of a caterpillar right here. See him as a caterpillar? I easily built a chrysalis. The chrysalis, and he's inside. And he's telling all this to the whale. He's got like a lounge chair. See him right there? Patiently, I waited to become a butterfly. Then began my journey with friends to find flowers. But then, things got cloudy. When I emerged, I was lost and alone. You'll get there one mile at a time. But, What if I get lost again or caught in a storm? What if I eat, what if a snake tries to eat me or a lizard or a bird or a dragonfly or a frog or a spider? Why does everyone think I'm so delicious? And they're reading a book called The Big Book of Things That Eat Butterflies. We all get scared. Even you? You are the biggest creature in the ocean. But the ocean is bigger. Sometimes I get butterflies in my stomach too. I don't think he's referring to eating the butterfly. He's referring to that fluttery feeling that we sometimes get in our stomach when we're like super nervous to do something. Whoosh. What are you doing? I'll just stay in here with the other butterflies. This is way more spacious than my chrysalis. Hmm. Anything to eat other than krill, which is the type of shrimp? No, I'll just order in. Hello, a bouquet of flowers, please. Extra nectar. The occasion, I'm hungry. My address, a whale. 
Hello? Hello? Click. You guys, he went down <laughs> into the whale's tummy. He like flew into the whale's mouth. Wait, can I just live in your stomach forever? No. How about a one year lease? No, you have to keep trying. Right, right. Keep trying. 200 miles, no problem. Getting closer. I can smell the flowers. How far did you fly? Two feet. Two feet? That's it? All I smell is failure. Don't give up, keep trying. Right, right, keep trying. Nothing can stop me. I love that the whale has a little, he's got a little pennant and he's like a cheering section at a football game. Except the wind. The wind's gonna blow the little butterfly all over the place, right? Splat! Right back where I started. I'll never get there. The wind blew the butterfly right back onto the whale. You're just not there yet. Believe you can. Wow. Look at that whale. He's just flipping right over. Showing the butterfly that you can do anything when you make up your mind. Okay. Believe you can do it. You were born to fly. I was born to cry. The only thing you have to fear is everything. If at first you don't succeed, stop trying. No, no. If at first you don't succeed, fly, fly again. Go find your way. I got this. Stay on track, mile 25. Wind at my back, mile 50. Don't get eaten, mile 100. Keep trying, mile 125. Keep flying, mile 150. Keep trying, 200 miles later. Guess where he is. I did it. You found your way. You know, there's nothing I can't do when I believe in myself. I could fly a million miles. That's great. Now eat up before we go dormant. Dorm of what now? You know, stay still all winter right right stay still all winter no problem how long is winter so superstars what did you think did you ever feel like the butterfly? Did you ever think that something is so impossible that you're never, ever, ever in a million years going to do it? Right? I remember all those times. I remember learning how to read. I thought it was going to be so difficult. And then I learned the alphabet and slowly learned how to pronounce words, how to read the words. And then I've been a reader like the rest of my life. You guys have learn so much in such a short time and you just need to keep going so with your teachers helping and your families helping you too can get there i love this book and thought it was a thumbs up let your teacher know if it was a thumbs up a mad book sideways thumb or if it was a super stinky book thumbs down 
And uh, I'll see you next week, Superstars, with another read aloud. Bye!